Hey guys, Jason here. <clears throat> I want you to read what this uh, last day's messenger for Christ Yeshua Jesus is saying. These are what I'm trying to tell you. These are the demonic liars. Okay? They're so focused on trying to uh, see that Jesus saved them. He, Jesus didn't save shit. Jesus was murdered. And Jesus is not anointed. Who anointed him? I didn't see no prophets anointing Jesus. He was baptized. He wasn't anointed. He was. If you're anointed, you're anointed king. That means that um, an actual prophet, like, will come and anointed under as the king. That hasn't happened. Jesus is not an anointed king. And there are Bible verses that support this. And just because Jesus says that he's the truth, way, and the life, doesn't mean shit. He got that from what God was saying in the Old Testament. Everything that Jesus had spoken is from the Old Testament, when God spoke. That's all. He got his information from the prophets. You know, the great men. So if these, if these Christian demons want to our true life, our King Yeshua. Uh, no. Okay, let's read what it's actually saying. What Jesus is saying. Let's let's freaking destroy these freaking evil freaking Christian demons. Okay, we need to understand that. Uh, Matthew 16, 20, like I keep saying, then he charged his disciples to tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. The reason why he's not Jesus Christ is because his name is Jason. It's right in the Bible verse. Matthew 19, 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Then he said unto him, Why callest me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. That's pretty safe and clear. Jesus is the truth. Well, yeah, the commandments are the truth, guys. You cannot have, I am the truth and the way and the life, and then not have any idea what that actually damn means. It's a shameful display of how stupid these Christians are. Then he continues on by saying in Matthew 24, 23, Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, do not believe him. Just, that's the truth. That's what you have to believe Jesus. And this is where nobody gets their eternal life. They're going to have eternal shame. Remember, they, the Christians will always try to say, Oh, I have eternal life, I have eternal life. Which one? Daniel was warning you there's two shames. Two eternal shames. Some will wake to everlasting life, which is the commandments. And then those that talk of this Christian bullshit is the shame. This is how stupid the Christians are. Okay? Because it's about, as what people are trying to understand, that God is the one that comes and sanctifies his own name because guess what? It was profane. Right? God comes over here and searches his own people. For thus saith Lord God, I have searched my sheep and seek them out. Jeremiah seven eleven, the name Jason, is this house which is called by my name? Become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, I even I have seen and saith the Lord. Now this is what's happening right now. For Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until the righteous thereof goes forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamb that burns. And they think Jesus is the Savior? I even am the Lord. Beside me, there's no Savior. For, for God is King. Well, that pretty much uh, shuts the that that fool's mouth. 
because the Lord is king. And what's this is what's being fulfilled right now. My my people are, would not listen to me, and Israel would not obey me. Because why? They forgot their God, their Savior, who did great things in Egypt. I'm alive. God's here with right now. That's what I'm, I'm right here. I will walk among you. I'm paying for your guys' sins with my kidney. I'm in dialysis. I, I spent dialysis today on my birthday. Do you think anybody wished me a happy birthday? Do any of these uh, these loving Christians will tell me that, happy birthday, Jason. Or anyone will call on my section and say, hey, happy birthday. Has anybody shown me that kindness? No, no, not one person has done today. My birthday is today, August 2nd. My weight at dialysis when I finished was 88. As in 88 miles per hour off of, uh, you know what I mean, uh, from... Uh, from uh, Back to the Future, right? 88 miles per hour, which is basically telling you, you know, that's uh, my birthday, August 2nd, two eights. And uh, which is, I'm 48. Jacob Israel keeps bringing up a number, 1776. Well, that, if you, if you do the numbers and you calculate them out, it turns out to be 48. The solar eclipse happened April 8th, 4-8. I don't know how much more I could keep doing this, the, these connections. I, you know, there's going to be, I'm at the point where it says, you know, it doesn't matter. If these Christians, fools, want to keep their false idol Christ, that's their choice. Know them that they're going to be destroyed. Right? And they think that Jesus is on the throne? Uh, no. I keep saying, the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them. And she'll lead them to the fountain of living waters. Yeah, that's me. You're, they're, Jesus has led you back to God, which is me. And basically what's going on is when uh, Jesus died, I accepted him. You know, I actually believe what Jesus said, that he's not Christ. And that's the catch. John 20, 17, August 2nd. Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended my, my father. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father, and your Father, my God, and your God. Yeah, we're in. We're here. We're at the resurrection. This is the information you need. This is the oil that's poured out. The ones that the, the Christians, uh, fools, you know, waiting for their idol to return. <laughs> when he's dead. And it's God that shows up. So, I don't know what else to say, because it's, it's about my testimony, like I'm sure all Christians, oh, I have a testimony, I have a testimony, I have a testimony, I have a testimony. I don't care. My testimony is the best. <laughs> because the Lord himself will show you a sign, not a Christian, not a false prophet that's on YouTube, the Lord himself, which I'm doing. Okay. Jesus was trying to warn you that blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Yeah, you're going to see God face to face. That's a requirement. Right? And uh, and apparently, what does that have to do with uh, the Christian uh, murder for salvation doctrine? Lies? Yeah, the Christian uh, murder for salvation are lies. Because God paid everything already. You guys have to murder Jesus to get salvation. You're trying to take an easy way out. That's what you're doing. So your false idol has no power or authority. It's all in the word. And that's what I'm showing you. I am the word. Because his name is the word of God. My name's Camp Waters. Campo. Jason has received 
Another king won Jesus. Yep. Right? So another king won Jesus, except, and so there's another king. That's me. Right? Because he went from Jesus back to Jason, back to the Father. Jesus says lies. He's the Redeemer, Savior, the best. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. All lies. All lies. All lies. So, yeah, that's the whole gist of the story. Heaven is the internet. Jesus was saying, you know, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Once the master of the house has risen up, yeah, Jason, the house of Jason. Like I, I have, I my case is closed, guys. I'm pretty much finishing up, finishing up what I need to do, and because Apophis is coming, the fires are destroying people's homes. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to say anything anymore. Until these Christians stop uh, lying and start, uh, you know, speaking their heresy against God, these uh, it, it'll get worse. And people right now will begin to realize how demonic these Christians really are. They only, they're only selfish about their own vanity. They're only concerned about their own salvation. They don't care about you guys. I do. I'm trying to help you what the word is trying to say. I'm trying to get you to understand what heaven is and how you live eternal life. So when you pass, the stuff that you see and you record on the internet, you'll be clean. So when you do pass away, the stuff that you leave behind as data will determine your character. So you don't want to be caught a liar in the presence of God is basically what I'm saying. Right? So these Christians are in, in, in serious danger. Not only are they bringing the curses on the earth, they're the cause of it. If they wanted to believe what Jesus had said, Jesus also said, what you bind on earth, you bind in heaven. And that's why these curses are here. So, this is my, my proof that they don't believe God. They think they're little, they're just, they're Jesus Christ's idol saves them. No. Not according to the real word of God. So, Anyways, I'd like to thank you. 
I appreciate you all, right? Um, um, when you love your neighbor, you don't want to bear false witness. And that's what these uh, false Christians are doing. They hate their neighbor, so they have to lie to them. Okay? And they have to continue this lie, you know, thereby disobeying Jesus himself. Jesus says, love your neighbor as, you, as I loved you, right? Well, how do you love your, your neighbor? By sharing God's commands with your neighbor, thereby loving God and your neighbor at the same time. What does that have to do with Jesus Christ? Nothing. Jesus already told you the two greatest commands. It's not, I am the truth, the way, and the life. That's not the greatest commands, guys. The greatest commands is love God, and love your neighbor. That's it. If you can't get that, well then, you're screwed. Because it's about God. And this is what God expects. Nothing else. It's all garbage. Okay? Because my name's written, guys. It's right there. Jason Campbell. That's my name. I am the Word of God. It's my birthday today. You think I would get, you know, from this hard work that I've done? I've done this. I've studied this my whole life. So anyways, I thought I'd uh, share that with you. Uh, uh, just what I see again. They just, they just, they just don't want to let go. And their followers, right? You know, these, these fools, they follow their, these fools. I don't know their names. I don't care to know their names, right? For all I care, they can go to hell, these Christians, okay? Because I'm done with them. Okay, if you can't understand the divinity of the word I'm showing you, like the d divine law is what I'm, my seal, you know, my testimony. Remember, we all have our testimony. I have my own testimony too. This is my testimony, which is the actual word of God, the truth, because this is who I am. Okay. This is where everyone is right now. Everyone's taken the Lord thy God in name, in vain. You know the name Jason that you see? <laughs> Jason is God because if you understand history, Jason was a hero in Greek history or mythology. He defeated a bunch of demons, which is happening right now. <laughs> right? And giants. You know those YouTube giants, you know the the YouTube clowns, you know the 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 all the lying white people, right? Just because you think you're righteous, you're not righteous. That's one thing I had to learn as a kid that I'm never going to be righteous, never. Okay, because I have to live up to this word. And that's what's important. If you have to make stuff up to uh, create with your Jesus Christ lies doctrine, well, that's your choice. But know this, that you're going to die. There's no rapture for you. And what the Christians don't seem to understand when Paul's telling you the dead in Christ rise first. Well, first of all, the dead in Christ rise first. Think about that statement for a second. When Jesus is telling you, frankly, frankly, Jesus don't give a damn is what's going on. Jesus came to, with a sword. Okay? Now that sword, all right, Matthew 10.34, I didn't come to bring peace, I came with a sword. What do you think the sword is? Me. I am that sword. I am the word of God, guys. <laughs> Do you guys not get that? Okay. 1034. Now, if you look at the numbers, I keep telling you, pay attention to the numbers. 
Okay, 1034, okay, what's 3 plus 4? 7. Okay, so 10 plus 7 is what? 17. That's right, guys, 17. That's the sword. I'm the sword that Jesus was holding on to. <laughs> so Jesus came to warn you, I come to knock them into hell, is what I'm doing. Exactly what's being prophesied. So you need to start letting go of your, your, your Christ idol, because he doesn't exist, because that's why, how, you, how the dead in Christ rise. Jesus tells you, okay, that he's not Jesus Christ, You know another, another uh, remarkable thing? My daughter's mother, she remembers my birthday. How sweet is that? My son's mother, she, she doesn't care. Same with my other one, my oldest son, they don't care. Just, you know, my daughter's mother. She's, that's something about her that she's always cared. And that's, that's why I, I love her heart. Right? And I, I made a mistake with her. Right? You know. But you need to understand that when, when someone hurts you in the beginning, like that 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 uh, that that, uh, that affects you and your relationship reservations, that's what happened to me. Right? As you know that the Lord God is jealous, <laughs> right? I am jealous. Okay. I'm jealous every every damn day I see all these liars on YouTube, you know, not declaring my name. Because my name is written. There's no disputing that. <laughs> I'm the water of life. I'm the water where, you know, where they, they refresh themselves with. That's me. Right? But they'll never believe that. Right? I am that master. You know, master chief. Right, Master Chief, you know from Halo is uh, one one seven or seven one one, right? The name Jason. It's just it's just it's never ends. So, anyways, I'd like to thank you. I appreciate you all. Love the Lord your God with your heart, mind, and soul. I didn't come to take away the law of the prophets. I came to help, guys. I truly have. I'm trying to tell you what Jesus is trying to say. And how it begins. You're never going to hear these verses anywhere. And Jesus came to tell you, okay, sacrifice is garbage. So therefore, Jesus' sacrifice is bullshit. He says it right here. I will have mercy and not sacrifice because he gets that from Hosea 6.6. 6. Okay. Jeremiah 7.22 specifically tells you, Right back in, in ancient times, or back in Egypt, he didn't command them for sacrifices or burnt offerings. Nothing. Man did that himself. So there's no such thing as sacrifice, because God took it away. So again, um, Here's the blueprint. Here's your seal, guys. The seal is, this is the information, is the knowledge of God. Okay? Because you remember, everyone is marked. Right? When the Bible, specifically in Revelation 13, 16, where the Christians like to say, Oh, uh, don't accept the mark of the beast. Uh, there's not a choice, guys. Everyone's marked. doesn't matter who. If you read that Revelation 13, 16 carefully... It tells you everyone's marked. And, you know, Paul says that, you know, the dead in Christ rise first. Well, yeah, because you have to give up the title Christ. That's how the dead in Christ rise first. That's how Jesus rose first, because he denied men's titles and obeyed God. That's how it works. 
this Messiah, this Christ, is Jewish idolatry. All lies. Because everyone in this world is an anointed child. Unless you were a person, that specific wasn't born through a woman. Unfortunately, you're anointed. Everyone's an anointed. Okay? Why you guys hate that message? I don't know. Everyone's a divine created being. Right? It doesn't matter if you think this one's a sant uh, antichrist. Well, the antichrist doesn't exist. If Jesus tells you there's no such thing as Christ, that made him the antichrist. <laughs> guys. So, anyways, appreciate you all. Right? Uh, love your neighbor by loving God's commands. By sharing that with people. That's all you need to know. Anything else is all garbage in the Bible. Those are the two commandments that you should be obeying. Period. Love God and your neighbor. You fulfill that by keeping God's commands as what it's written here. But if thou will enter into life, keep the commandments. You read me, you hear me, guys? Like, if you guys were in my shoes and you see these people all lying on YouTube, wouldn't you want to just take these, 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 uh, these, these, and say, come on, guys, put up your dukes. You know I mean, and then knock them around. That's how I feel like doing it every day. They're lies. I like to smack them in the mouth and say, shut up with your mouth, guys. You've denied Jesus already. Like cold turkey, guys. <laughs> like... Are they that stupid? They rather listen to what John thinks rather than actually what Jesus was saying? Oh, this is what just, it's just like, how do you tell people these, they're, you know, which is fulfilling Jesus' uh, command. He says, you praise me with your mouth and your heart is further from me, which he got from Isaiah. So anyways, I hope again, Let my words reach you. Right? So, anyone, these wise Christians, Revelation 20, verse 15, whosoever's name not found in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire. So if your name is not written in the Bible, as I showed you, you're going to hell. What am I supposed to do about that? I've kept my promise. I paid for your sins. You're forgiven. But you need to stand before God first and understand that. If you deny what I'm saying, you become the foolish virgin. So guess what happens when they're left without? They're going to be crying to the ones that need it. And guess who's not going to... No. God, I'm going to... I'm, I'm telling them, cold turkey, I don't want nothing to do with you guys. Because you guys can't even read what Jesus is saying. <laughs> and then they say that they know Jesus. They don't have no clue who Jesus was. He's the Holy Ghost. He's, part, he's, a, he's, a, he's, God's part, he's a part of God. Okay? That was split. Okay? And then that went back to the Father. So how could that make him a Christ? If he's part of the Father. Again, appreciate you all. Um, have yourself a very good evening, right? Today's my birthday. Celebrate. Have a good day, right? And um, help your neighbor. Have a good day, guys.